Previously on New Crits on the Block. You see a humanoid figure starting to stand up of complete fire. It's Kerrigan. You can just fuck off out of here because nobody's listening to you. And you see him raise his hand and he snaps as all the people that step towards him ignite in fire. Let their deaths not be in vain. Let them fuel you for the fight to come. You'll see a smirk go across Awen's face and he'll say, if they want us to go out in the blaze, let's show them the brightest blaze they have ever seen in their lives. As the silence kind of like is deafening after the cheers of all the giants, Grator puts his hand on your shoulder and looks down at you. I knew you could do it. Oh, no, that was, I was, I, I was mostly speaking as a proxy for you, really. If what, I thought, what, what, what would the WWJ, I guess WWJD. <laughs> What would Gonal do? <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Uh, well, yes, but yes. not. But, but Yarl instead. But Yarl is WWJD. Of course. And, uh, Here's that uh, serious uh, episode Jake wanted. Out, uh, out that came. Well, we know they're outside. The, the, we must get ready and get to our positions. Yes, absolutely. Um, I guess we're all on top of everything, right? Your giants are ready to yes, they, fight the good they'll fight. They'll get their weapons and they will sleep at their locations. They're, they're on the battlements. All right. Um, I'll get my uh, um, uh, uh, team, a uh, group. Um, friends, how are we going to sound that we are to retreat from our areas to help draw them closer to the long haul? You hear Catan smile. You didn't even know that was possible, but you literally hear <laughs> the sound of him being excited. Uh, he Can is, I get that sound? He has chapped lips, so it cracks. Yeah, yeah. right. Oh, Crackles. No. It's, I mean, I mean, well, he just spent a lot of time around like some pretty hot, hot heat. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's all sunburned. So I, I've I've stabilized the children now, and I've had the giants take them away into a um a better location. So I get to do the thing where I go over to a table and I put my arm down on the table and I slide everything off the table. All right. And That's... I pull I pull out of my pocket a map. Oh boy. No, no, no. There it is. Oh, okay. And I, I roll it out, and it's a map of the city, um, the town, call it what you will. Uh, and on there, uh, I have marked everything from homes to um, roads to uh, uh, barricades to the dynamite location. That was so cute, map. Well, this is uh, Emmy and Philippa's cute map that I have... Um, <clears throat> made a bit more of battle ready. But yes, uh, right. this is essentially what we're working with here. Um, lot of lines. Yes, lot of lines. Um, let's see, how to... Essentially, as you can see, the village has three main entrances. The North, East, and West Road. We are located all the way to the south at the Long Hall. I imagine that um, we'll have uh, one of us located at uh, each road and and somebody, uh, the fourth of us, doing um, something something else. We can figure that out shortly. Um, each one of these roads has a series of barricades. Um, as the enemies filter in, we will uh, fall back to uh, previous barricades, getting a, a bulk of them to filter back until eventually we hit the center of town uh, where all the roads meet. And then um, from there, we will fall back behind the final barricade leading to the Long Hall, secure the surviving members of the town inside the Long Hall, and implement our plan, our trap, if you
you will. What's the trap? Well, these series of homes that have spikes, wooden spikes all over them. Uh Uh-huh. I've put all the dynamite in those. Oh! So... If we can get a good chunk of the people oh, outside so this is of the, the long haul. This is the kill zone. There's a series of kill zones. <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> multiple kill zones. Yes, well, the zone. barricade zones. is essentially a kill zone. Behind the barricade are pitfalls as well, um, where the Jarl has also oh uh, eloquently placed. Uh, I'm just really happy with myself. Sorry. I was like, get in the zone, kill in zone. <laughs> Works for me. Tom that. loves it. Uh, okay. the, there are also pitfalls located behind the barricades, so do be careful not to fall in there. They're a little bit too small for the giants, but we could potentially fall into them, so don't. Um, so we're, we want everyone to funnel into the center and then essentially lead them down the last road towards yes, the long the, hall, the, where you're going to essentially set off an, a dynamite trap of spiked houses. Yes. Perfect. Yep. Uh, that last barricade that you see there, um, it is designed to look like it is a final stand. I have no intention of actually making our final stand there. It is purely a decoy. It will fall. Uh, I do not see. If he truly does have upwards to, if not more than a thousand people, uh, I see no way that we are going to prevent them from storming this location. We will have to fall back. Um, And then we will blow them all to pieces. All right. Great. We have our boulder tooths that we can communicate with one another, um, explain our current situations, call for reinforcements, uh, indicate changes on the battlefield as they happen. Um, does anyone have any questions or uh, additional plans? So you do you want us to let them get through? Eventually. The, the key okay. thing is, is that we want to hold this, the barricade as long as we can mm-hmm. until it begins to get overrun. And once the, once the benefit to maintaining the barricade is outweighed by the losses we are sustaining by trying to maintain it, then we abandon it and fall back. The sheer aspect of abandoning it not only secures in our forces, but it allows the traps behind it to take effect. The, this is not going to be a five-minute ordeal like normal. This is more of a war of attrition. They, we, need to, we need to exhaust them rapidly while maintaining our forces as much as possible. There's no point in doing any of this if everyone dies defending the town. There will be incalculable losses. But perhaps less had we not spent so much time preparing. Got it. Um, If you are unsure of what to do, please chime in. We are all able to communicate with each other quickly and efficiently via Sven's little device. As I tap on my fantasy ear, which as we all know is much lower than my regular ear. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Any other questions? Nope, I think I got it. Um... It is important that the giants also know that this it is not in their best interest to go out in a blaze of glory. They might want to hold these lines, but as they begin to get overrun, it is best to fall back. A bit of trickery and deceit. Okay. Any other questions? No? Good luck. And you all walk out of the long haul. And you see all the giants grabbing weapons, rushing, helping others, um, taking all the kids up into the long haul. All the non-fighters, which at this point are very few. Some like you see Elvig like look at one of the kids that's like friends with the one that got burnt and like hands him a sword and sends him off. Um no, there's almost every single person, like the ones that you thought weren't going to fight are grabbing weapons and, and walking out, whether it's just a rake or a hoe or whatever, a piece of stick, they're going to the front line. Um, and again, you have about roughly a hundred people and 75 of those being the actual like battle hardened okay. um, folk. Very good. Um, so 
I guess the real question is, um, what is your guys' positions? Where do you guys want to be? And then I already have ideas of where I'm going to have like the leaders of the um, Giants post up. They're going to be pretty much one in a location with all of you. Um, so yeah, where do, where do you guys, where do you guys want to be? Um, I want to be with uh, Grotar. Is the that? Jarl? No, the other Krathos. one. Krath- Krathos. Yes. I want to be with him. We okay. have, we had a little bond, so I'm going to be wherever his Okay. So he is, is going he is to gonna be. be on the East Road. Okay. Um, you like, you can see him walking down the road to like the center of town from the long haul. Mm-hmm. Um, as you, he like stops for a second and you see him like reach in into that same pouch that he give, gave to you. That's the ashes of their mm-hmm. ancestors. And you can see him starting to uh, apply war paint as he sees you approach. Want some too? Um, uh, yes. Yes, I do. And I'm going to hold my face up to. Um, what, what do you, what kind of, what kind of design you want? Um, I guess dealer's choice. I want him to, I don't know what okay. symbols they have. Uh, so he, I want him yeah, to give me so a good he, one. He does two like lines mm-hmm. horizontal across your forehead. And then on either cheek, he has two lines going down the side of your face. Perfect. And then if like a few little dot, like just down your nose. Oh, I love it. Okay. Yes. And are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Yes. And you see him stand up and grab his mace. And you make your way to the front line of the East Road. Um, everyone else, what are, what are you guys thinking? Uh, where the Jarl at? <laughs> the Jarl is posted up. Just like chilling in a chair in the back. Yeah, he's, he's just smoking a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's about to get real weird. No, uh, he is he is in the center of town just ordering people. Um, you can kind of see that he has just this massive bow and arrow and his great sword sitting next to him. And as you approach... Do you want to hold this position with me? We are... I'm, I'm thinking of us as a... Well, we're the reinforcements. We go where we're needed. Yes, uh, and seeing as I'm quite mobile, uh, that's the idea that I had in my head as well. Um, give, give, be Johnny on the spot with what needs to be done. Yeah, and from this like center location, since the roads are kind of on an incline coming up, you can see each set of the the barricades that are set up and the roads and like the the essentially it gives you a nice big eagle eye view of yeah. the surrounding town which also helps because i have a ranged weapon yes. so i can <laughs> just essentially kind of plunk at whoever is making their way forward yep. and um give me an idea of if i need to do something quickly i'll be able to do so okay uh perfect so you are in the center of town yep katan Worrell, what are you thinking you got the North Road and the West Road. So the North Road has a fighter and the West Road has the seer. Uh, I It kind of depends on where you guys are going, to okay. be honest. Ultimate Ilvig will probably go with Yucatan and the seer will most likely go with where uh, Boral goes. Do so. we think it's a good idea to have two castas uh, together? Shouldn't we perhaps uh, divvy up the forces in a way that is more tactically sound? I, I, it's up to you. I don't really care. I, w- I would recommend that um, although you do have some history with the Sia, um, with his limp and everything, I feel like there should be somebody who's a bit more um, sturdy. What are you uh, trying to say? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not here. I can take a, <laughs> I can take a hit better than Boral. Than what? Boral. It's very cold. I'm getting that numb numb face thing going on. So I'm I'm not clear what you're saying. Do you? I think that I should be with the Sia, and you should be with one of the even though the relationship makes more sense for you. Don't forget that. um, Well, I mean, you you, this the Seer does what he or she wants. I sure. I don't know. He I, or I, she is fucking weird. So, yep. <laughs> listen, I'm not enjoying being next to them. They're probably going to stick their finger in my ear or something. But as you like, say that, you hear, yep. And a, fa- and a finger just like crawls Wet around Willy. your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, don't forget that as we fall back, um, we're eventually all going to wind up in the middle. If one person's uh, 
winds up at the last barricade, we all need to retreat to the last barricade. We cannot have a last barricade fall and have some of our members still uh, at frontal barricades. They will then get pincered off and we will essentially lose those forces and maybe even our friends. Does that make sense? If we fall to the last barricade, we must all fall to the last yes. barricade. Excellent. Um, very well. I will go with the Sia and Borel. I guess that leaves the, who was the other one? Elvig? Elvig, yeah. Perfect. You two need to have a little talk anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what rows are you guys going to? I um, still need to know that. I guess. You, you it, picked it, it, a it, row it, it, and I'm going to take the, the, the other one. So okay, doesn't matter I to guess me. I'll stick with the, um, Borel, actually, I have a feeling that the, I don't know where their forces are going to concentrate. Um, there's two roads to choose from. Mm-hmm. I can't, so there's a map in front of us right now that might give us some idea, but you know what? I'm not going to metagame that hard. Uh, I rolled a one, so I guess that's going to be the north road. I'll take okay. the north road and why don't you take the west? Okay. I was going to say if I rolled low, it was north. And if I rolled high, it was west. Because I really don't know where they're going to, from okay so you guys all get into your positions um it's pretty late at night um are you guys gonna go to sleep you did take a lot of damage you did use a lot of spells so i don't i'm oh i definitely need to rest okay all right i just wanted to Uh, i think from my vantage point because i haven't really done anything like that i would keep a watch okay uh yeah um and awen with you there are there's like a little squadron of other archers um, and Gator kind of like, um, I will be focused heavily on running to each barricade to reinforce them. And he looks towards the other giants and looks back to you. These are your charges. Well, by charges, you mean they are yours to command. Yes, okay. I don't know if I'll be doing much commanding again at ice. I, my whole thing is... Do what you see fit, Awen. I've said it once. I'll not say it again. But you did. I trust you. There it is. All right, thank you. And you kind of see him like, he just kind of walks off and starts barking orders to some of the other giants that like, you can see like some of the kids and stuff like that don't know what they're supposed to be doing. And he just tells them to go and walk away. Um, he's going to look anyone's going to look over at the giants and be like stand on one leg they like tilt their head a little bit and like one of them puts stands on one leg <laughs> put your leg down <laughs> and the giant does it he's going to roll his eyes and, and kind of look back off into the distance okay um, yeah and then we pop over to Boral um, you see Aelvig she just has this massive whetstone in her hand and she is just sharpening her blade and you can see like every stroke is like planned, if that makes sense. It's very meticulous. Like she's focusing, hyper-focusing on just this single task before the fight. Um, and she kind of looks back up to you, says, So, what can you do? <laughs> uh, you know, this whole time I've been asking myself that very same question. Oh, like, okay, but like, do you? I make things go boom. And you see her smirk a little bit with that? Good enough. Well, we might have had disagreements earlier, but you have my back. As long as you got mine. And she nods her head and goes back to sharpening her axe. And uh, Katan, we pop over to you and the seer is just like playing practical pranks on you. (laughs) You walk over and he's like, Oh no, I fell. Can you help me up? You're like 10,000 pounds. No, no, I can't. Grab my hand. No. Pull my finger. I look over at the other (laughs) giants manning the area. Yeah. What are they? How, how are they, they? They responding to this? They they're not even paying attention to. It. They're just <laughs> on their own, doing like they're kind of doing some extra. Like one guy's just like putting a spike down. You can hear one of them kind of like chuckle a little bit. You can tell that they're just used to this. 
It's just it's just an, another day in Arnfell. Do it! You'll hear from Awen <laughs> <laughs> from all the way back in the middle of, this, of the town. You know you want to. <laughs> just like slow. You know you want to. <laughs> Your behaviors do not reflect the gravity of the current situation as I reach out and touch her finger. Uh, you too. And then she just goes, Gotcha. <laughs> also, the fake hand. You should pull her hand off. <laughs> oh. So, so when when I first pull the finger, yeah, the hand comes off. <laughs> the, when I first do it, and she makes the farting noise, right? I do not even like remotely change my facial expression. I am very serious. Yeah. But then the hand pops off, and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like that got me. <laughs> uh, and I'm just like, eh. can I, I get the back though? I throw it at her. And she puts also, it the back hand's on. gigantic. Yeah, she puts it back on, and then it starts moving out like a normal hand again. Oh. Cool, right? Listen, you understand the plan, right? Yeah, make people die, right? But the specifics of the plan. Nope. I explain it to her. She, I'm not going through all that again. Yeah, she, she honestly, you can tell that like this year is just off in their own world. You, they, you think they got it, and you assume that they understand what's going on, but like, you can see the, the one of the other giants walks in. She's like, just, just don't. It's not. You're going to go crazy. Just stop. <sighs> Very well. Um, she just kind of does her own thing, doesn't she? They are powerful. Well, that's, I guess that's better than nothing. Um, I spend some time with the other giants in the area going over like combat tactics, like mass combat tactics associated with like lots of small people. Simple things like, like horizontal strikes far more effective than... Um, uh, vertical strikes. Yeah. Right now, you know, and um, the stabby, idea of, stabby, don't swingy swing. Yeah, I gotcha. Well, swing, but swing horizontally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, swaths. You want vertical. Horizontal is going to. Yeah. I want low and horizontal oh, okay. swaths mm -hmm. like 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 harvesting. <laughs> you're, you're trying to take out a lot of small things all at once. Got to bring it back to the farming. We're like reaping. Yeah. 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 Um, and just like the idea of like, this is not, yeah, I understand that we're on a hill and everyone's planning on dying, but like, this is not the hill to die on. Yeah. We, we, we actually want to fall back and, and don't worry, many of you will die. You're, there will be, don't worry. <laughs> there will be, trust me. <laughs> many, is like, wait, I'm not going to die. Yeah. Many, no, many of you will. So this is going to be a, a opportunity for you guys to, to die in battle. But the goal is not to, <laughs> um, and upon, after kind of like interacting with all of my local foot soldiers in the area and kind of getting an idea of like their personalities, temperaments, yada, 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 then I go to, go to rest. Okay. Yeah. You, most of you lay your head down. Awen, you're looking out. Mm -hmm. And Awen, as everyone puts their head down to get a little bit of rest before the coming battle, you see a sea of, light of fire out on the horizon and at first it's just in front of you and then you kind of turn your head to the east and you see it come over that horizon and then you look to the west and it's on that horizon too and it's just this massive semicircle that's slowly approaching um, and since you're going to be staying up uh, you watch them and it takes a while and probably about like an hour or two, they get to where they're about 500 yards out from you guys and then just stop. And at this point with your, with your elven eyes, with your keen eyes, mm -hmm. um, you can start seeing like the features and you can see like the monks, like the getups that you guys ran into. You can see those like pyrotechnic guys. You can see... Uh, just skeletons that are just on fire little floating skeletal heads that are just kind of bobbing behind them demons with wings outspread with fire oh, on their head fair. Okay. <laughs> and you see this massive creature yeah I did it yeah I said it that's yeah. right you said it three times now 
Yeah, you've already, didn't even you've already said it, it like many times. Part. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know! You thought, he you, thought you like, I busted it. it out the right part and you've said it wow. twice already. When did I say it other times? Like three times in that whole description. Fuck, man, it's going good. <laughs> <laughs> Crushing it. Crushing it. Um, well, then you see the huge creature. Mm -hmm. There you go. Got us. I got, I tricked you. Hey, Jake, how tall is it? <laughs> Pretty big. <laughs> is it taller than the giants? Yes. Way taller than Giants. Uh, it is towering. Uh, it almost looks like it is at eye level with you, Awen, and you are about like 30 to 4, 40 feet off of like ground level. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, and it's kind of in the back of the pack, but it's it's pretty easy to pick it out. Uh, you can just see this like fire inside of its mouth, in its eyes, and just like this pulsating red light coming from its torso and they just stop at that 500 yard mark and just sit there um, are we all awake at this point or is everyone still asleep um, I think at, th at this point we could say like people are starting to wake up that big of force walking I think would sh sh literally shake the earth oh yeah uh, no yeah. 100% I think yeah. everybody would kind of wake up yeah and at this point yeah everyone, everyone starts to rouse and yeah. Uh, you all see the same scene. Um, you see this ginormous creature out in the distance. This army slowly marching upon you. Jake, here's a question. Has hmm. any of us ever seen a creature that you just described um, in any capacity like that? I don't mean that we've seen it personally, but like something that is that terrifying. A 40-foot tall Behom, behom, behemoth. I think the only thing that would be similar would be Legion. Would be that um, grotesque, grotesque monster that Horrifying. you guys faced uh, before you went through the Iron Gate. Okay, I think that's the only thing that would be on the same scale of like you could feel just dread overcome you just by looking at this thing. Okay, I just wanted to get an idea of how we were going to handle this emotionally. Uh, you are, everyone's at, like, I think you kind of look at other people and you can see that they're like, what the fuck is that thing? But at a, it's a certain point of like, well, it's, we'll figure it out. We can't, if they're around us. There's, it's kind of a mute point to worry about it right now. Yep. So now that everyone can see this thing off in the distance, I, it takes Katana a second looking at it once he sizes it up and realizes like, he has never, I mean, like, yes, he's trained to handle, like, you know, fiends and demons and undead, but, like, he has never, th this is the kind of shit that he was taught about, you know, in the order, more like stories, you know, yeah. great, great heroes that have fought big, scary monsters, but, like, nobody's ever actually come up against anything like this that he's known. Yeah. And so, he takes him a minute, and then he steals himself, and he gets on the boulder tooth, and he just reminds everyone, he just says... I know this wasn't what we were expecting. The situation doesn't change. We stick to the same plan. We just might have to improvise a bit. I guess it looked that bad. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. See, that, thing is, that thing is terrifyingly large. Yes, it is. You just step over all the barricades. It might. However, it doesn't change the fact that we still have a very oh, for one of the, oh what what were you gonna say sorry you <laughs> broke up sorry what was that and you were saying a no no I was what was that no sorry um could have swore that you yeah, anyway must be getting some static um <laughs> we still have multiple entrapments frankly I do hope it steps over the barricades because if I want to blow anything up it's that yeah you might take out a foot or something <laughs> maybe a toe. Uh, probably a foot, maybe a leg. Maybe. We'll see. And then it falls on the long haul and <laughs> destroys and us, all. us all. Oh no. We shall see. Listen, they came to kill five of us and we only let them take three. We've already proven that we can stop them at some capacity. Let's do it. Um, quick question. Uh, where would you have had Emmy and Philippa? Would you have left them in the longhouse? 
No. Uh Well, hmm. I think we probably should have at least Philippa. Philippa's not strong enough to help. Not not for this. Philippa would have been back at the long haul. Okay. Emmy, I don't control. Yeah, I, well, I'm Philippa, asking. I can kind I'm of asking control. you as as players. Where do you? Where would you think Emmy would be most beneficial for you? I think protecting Philippa makes the most sense. Yeah, actually, that and like that as does. a you know stopgap, if they need to come running out to do something to help, then we can call for them. But okay, so stay. you would, you would have left them both at like at least at least That's what Philippa I think. in the long haul and Emmy maybe outside of it, guarding it, ready for like maybe yes. Awen to signal her or something. Sure. Okay. Cool. I just want to make sure and get that cleared up because I forgot about them for a second. Um, but what about Luxie? <sighs> They're, it's going to die, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Probably. Luxie's going to get murdered. Luxie's <laughs> out there that somewhere. That going to eat Luxie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's fine. An and you know what? He'll still be hungry. <laughs> yeah. Because his body vanishes when he dies. He'll be very confused. <laughs> Joke's on you, big yeah. monster man. It's like certain cuisine when you eat it and afterwards you're like, I'm still hungry. <laughs> Hey, diddle diddle, it's your favorite part of the middle. Break, that is. It's <laughs> it's your favorite player, Matt. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Keeper? What do you think? I, I think so. First of all, thank you everyone so much for listening to this week's episode. Welcome to the middle break. It is I, your favorite player, Matt. And as you know, we are trying to get up to 200 reviews on Apple Podcast. That's our goal. We need your help with that. When we reach the goal of 200 reviews, we are going to release some extra content. It is Awin's backstory that we have recorded already. It's so much fun. And if we can get ourselves 200 reviews, we're going to release it for free to you guys. It doesn't have to be anything super crazy. For example, Achi89 left a five-star review and said, fun and lighthearted. If you're looking for a good time, this is the D&D podcast for you. It has a feeling of sitting down with your friends for a good time while rolling some D20s. Achi89, thank you so much for that review. We absolutely love it. We love to hear that you are getting the vibe that we are shooting for with this podcast, which is exactly that. Another way you can help us out is if you subscribe, rate, and review to our podcast wherever you get your podcasts from. Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. If you listen to us on a podcatcher, we are probably on it. Also, be sure to follow all our social media platforms. You can find us at New Crits on Twitter. You can find us at New Crits on the Block on Instagram. You can find us at New Crits on the Block on Facebook. It means a ton to us if you can retweet any of our content, if you can post on your Instagram story any of our content, tag us on Facebook in groups that you are a part of that you think people would like to listen to us. Help us spread the word more than we possibly could. Right now we're doing this by word of mouth. Right now we are doing this completely grassroots. And when we see that you support us and help us grow, it sends us over the moon with excitement. And of course, we'd love you to be a part of our ever-growing Discord family. We have new people being added all the time, people joining up left and right. We love seeing new people in there. It gives you a chance to talk to our new crits family. It gives you a chance to talk to the cast directly. We're all pretty active in there, some more than others. But still, if you want to talk to some of the cast members, that's where you want to do it. Now, where can you get access to any of the things we just talked about? Well, our link tree, of course. L-A-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash New Crits on the Block is our hub to get you to wherever you want to go New Crits related. L-A-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash New Crits on the Block. Click on whichever button suits your fancy and be teleported right there. All right, everyone, let's get you back into this week's episode. Once again, thank you so much for listening. We love that you tune in each and every single week. You know we release on Mondays at 12 o'clock Pacific time. And I hope that you're staying safe. Hope you're staying healthy out there. Things are still a little bit crazy, but we're getting back to normal little by little. And hopefully this podcast will help you get back to that normalcy. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. You guys all are staring out. Um, it is silent now that this uh, army is no longer marching. And you see, uh, I think Awen particularly, maybe Boral even, uh, would be able to see this just because of how far the distance is. Um, You see like six or eight people all spaced out from where the army is, from east, north, and west, all walk out, 
all wearing like these red robes and you see them put their hands up and I wave back. <laughs> oh, not one bad. flips you off. No. Oh, uh, <laughs> so really. Uh, they reach their hands up as these pillars of fire shoot up from their hands and arc and land right in line with where the traps were. And you can see it like goes to start making like a ring as it hits one little section and completely fizzles out and it just dies off. And you could see like the pillar stop and then they like shoot it out again. And again, nothing happens. And like you can like they, they turn, you can see them like walk back and and come back out and try it one more time and nothing happens once more. And then you see most about a hundred people step out from the army, all raise their hands as you see fireballs arcing up into the sky and flying down. Hey guys, can I get a dexterity saving throw from everybody? Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh no. Uh, Katan rolls a 14. Oh, not bad. Not terrible. Yeah, that's not pretty bad. Good. Uh, Awen rolled an 11 plus 9 for a 20. Mm, okay. I got a 19. 19? 8. Oh, no. Ouch. Oh, no. Okay, well, let me, let me get this. Taste your own medicine, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you dropped one. That sweet, sweet audio gold. 25. 28 points of damage to Boral. And everyone else gets half of that. Ooh. So 14 points 14. of damage. And as you see this barrage of fireballs land on top of the town, you see most of the giants starting to like pick up their shields and putting them over their heads. Uh, some of them forming like a shield wall and like all kind of linking their shields together. Boral Elvig tries to like grab you and pull you in to their shield wall. But as she does, she kind of like gra just grabs your robe and doesn't realize that there's like a lot of just like excess to it and just like kind of just pulls some of the robe in and you just get hit point blank by one of these fireballs. You're all skin, you kind of buddy. get shot into her and like push over some of these other giants that are trying to keep the shield wall. Uh, but you get protected from the rest of it. Um, she grabbed the train of your robe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. you, have a, you have a magnificent train on that thing. <laughs> It's always getting caught on things. Yeah, always. <laughs> Tripping on it. It is luxurious, though. Mm -hmm. um, and after this barrage that lasts a solid minute of just fireballs just cascading down, destroying most of this town, um, you see the skeletons. You see these skulls start running or, or flying. I got, you can't have a running skull, but you know. Rolling. Rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Just rolling Terrifying. through the snow. Like how yeah. weird. Yeah. I mean, it kind of makes a cool a cool idea of like a rolling ball of flame that then like pops up and is like a flaming skull. It's not yeah. Too. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it does. <laughs> so terrible. Like it's cute until it starts biting you. It's apparently Popeye's skull. <laughs> yes. Just like the teeth chattering. You, know? <laughs> you gotta be careful too. If they if there's any spinach in this village, you guys are fucked. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> no, no. They're all going to grow to 40 foot tall. No, I think the only thing they have is iceberg lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'll be here all hey week. <laughs> Try the veal. Get <laughs> <Tip> your waitress. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so you guys, you, Awen, you do see these um, creatures advancing on you. Um, so anyone that has any kind of, before we get in like to the nitty gritty of the actual initiative uh, I do want to give you guys some chances to kind of thin the herd and so that the listeners know I am going to be doing uh, the minion system so a lot of these things are going to hit the same but their health is going to be very low so we don't have to sit here and try to kill one thing for an hour um, and just so you guys know too like you're going to be doing massive damage to the area just to keep that in mind um, so yeah what do you guys we can popcorn around 
what do you guys want to do as this like first wave of like flaming skeletal uh, creatures are approaching? Run away. <laughs> <laughs> it would just, and, it would... And, and the whole podcast thing? <laughs> the whole thing? What, yeah. Uh, which direction are they coming from? All, every direction. They're coming from the west. E the, essentially, the, uh, the entire army is surrounding your eastern, western, and northern entrance. Okay. Uh, you, they, you can tell that there's nothing really, as far as you can tell, there's nothing really behind you. Uh, and it's mainly because you have a pretty jagged hill on the other side, and they're they're kind of thinking that they're just going to overwhelm you, and they don't really need to bother with like jagged edge, hill. jagged edge, man, jagged jagged edge. Just angry. Well, I mean, if the terrain <laughs> if the terrain is not you know scalable, then yeah, um, yeah. So, what do you guys who's who's going first? Who would like to do something? I mean, the only thing I'm going to start doing is just firing. I can, I can say two can play at that game. And I'm going to start firing my arrows off into okay. the... Make it, make it a tech roll. Uh, the oncoming herd. 14 plus 12 is 26. Yeah, that's going to hit some skeleton, boys. Uh, one, six, seven damage. I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, it's so seven damage and nat 20. Ooh. Nat 20. Damn. With the six, so 12, uh, 18, plus seven, so 23. Uh, 23? Okay, yeah, so you... Points of damage total to the... Uh, to just fire them off. They all have one health, so you're, you're going to be killing 23 of them. Ooh, nice, uh, okay. So you pull Jesus. your... Air, you just start... Rat, like, on, like, Grator turns to you, and you almost... It's like your hand doesn't even leave from its position. It just keeps firing and firing as arrows just arc over the walls and and Katan, you can actually see Awin's arrows. I'm, I'm going to say he's shooting towards the north as it just arcs over and just each shot just hitting a skeleton and it just pff, dissipates and just like kind of bones clackling and, and falling into the snow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was? It's an organic and robot. And also they start sparking um, because like... <laughs> one of the skeletal heads that's coming like rolls and like goes to pop up over the barrier as he just pop shots it and just obliterates it and just turns it into little bone dust. So it's all just the skeleton things yeah, heading just, towards just our barriers. Right okay, now. so I want to cast a uh, spike growth because I have a range of 150 feet. So okay. ahead of where our little barrier is, I want to yeah. basically cast that out in a big 20 okay. foot and what line, does that do? <laughs> and it's going to uh, let me hold it up so I can read and talk into my mic. Um, it becomes difficult terrain, and then when a creature moves in within the area, it does uh, 2d4 piercing damage for every five feet it travels. So I basically kind of want to, like, trip them up okay. and have them get all, um, like, clanked around in there. Do your... And it's camouflage. They have to make a wisdom check before they're, entering they're, the area. Yeah, I figured. They're, yeah, no, they're, matter, they're skeleton but. boys. They don't... They, <laughs> they see it, and they're like, we're getting through this. Not much wisdom there. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's no brain um, matter. And so they're just heads, like... Yeah. Uh, how I figured. Damage I just, does it do? Uh, sorry, I just lost it. Let me... Wait, how'd you, was you, it 2d6 every like, five feet? I rotated my... Yeah, 2d6. I think it's 2d... 2d4 every oh, five 2D4. feet. Okay, so what I'll do is I will roll a d10, and it'll this will be how uh, how many feet they're going to go, essentially, and then you can roll damage for it. So we can just solve that right now, so I don't have to do it later. Oh, wow, 10. Okay, yeah, fucking so... Sweet. Uh, 10 times your damage, essentially. So okay. just roll... Can roll I borrow another just, four from somebody? For, what do you... Another d4? You got it. Yeah. Uh, five. Five. Okay. So you do 50, uh, you kill. F so you just see all these things as they go in, as they are walking through it, you just see spikes just, phew, phew, just pinning them up and like taking them back into the earth as you just see all like a few skeletals get through, but a, a large swath of them just almost immediately die as they hit that first five feet. And like it's, you just watch as destruction happens as spikes are flying everywhere and just taking them out. Perfect. Um, nice. Boral? Um, so I'm going to take out my wandy of magic missile and I'm going to cast it at third level. So it'd be five missiles. Five missiles? Okay. Roll the demo. Can I get uh, some D4? Pretty pretty. No. I know I borrowed yours, but you may not use mine. Ooh, that's a cool one. Okay. No. <laughs> so 
10 and 11 plus 5, 18 damage. 18? Yeah, so you pull out your wand as you just point it towards the thing as you just see these five missiles going flying out. And f- most of the time for magic missile, it just hits that one target mm-hmm. and then dissipates. This one, it you just see it plowing through one missile taking out multiple different skeletals. Uh, and sorry, what, was, what would you say? 18? 18. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just going to keep counting that. Okay. Um, yeah, so you see 18 skeletal j- creatures just go down quicker than... They didn't even like get out of their formation before you already started whipping out your wand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Level three, sexual in and <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Katan, I know you don't really have any close range stuff, but we can say that like some of them are hopping over your barrier or something. So if there is something that you want to do, I don't want to just like tell you to go fuck off because you're melee. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> like it. the, the, the people serves. around me, do they have long bows? Uh, yeah. I instruct them to fire. Um, oh, you cheeky bastard. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. That's and fair. then um, um, how many of this wave do you think we... Like out of this first wave, what percentage so far did we just like wipe out? <laughs> just at a glance. Uh, um, like, like, are we a feeling lot? good about it? <laughs> no, that's feeling what I mean. Good about no, it. honest to God, this is morale talk. So like, <laughs> but we won't all be able to see. Yeah, but he, I can. He's I'm standing at the front, looking out. People, like basically, you want to know how to command your group. Well, I think the only one to be able to see that would be me. Yeah. Well, you you, you can't see, tell what the north, what the east and west are doing. He True. Could see, he could see what what your damage did to the people. In yeah, front I saw what so you that, did. Though, yeah. What north. kind of visual do we have? Like, how far away are we from each um, other? You can't see can... each other at all. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, Awin, is, sure. Awin is kind of like the going to be, I, I, and how I've in the kind of set it up is going to be the middleman of like. Gotcha. Oh, hey, north is going down. Right. Right. Okay. Back up east, kind of thing. Is Perfect. is. Unless he's like, eh, I want to. I'm just gonna fly away. Yeah. Actually, I roll stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Pass without trace. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Two sis. Yeah, I was like, hey, what are you? Where, where, where There's no end just waiting yes. there. Yes. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> There's just the oh, bow and no. snow in hand. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the amulet, the symbol <laughs> tied around his neck, just yes. saying, little note, my bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, peace out. Oh, Snowman is my greatest creation. <laughs> it really <laughs> it will be, it will be, it will be timely. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I, love um, I love it. Yeah. So um, you could tell based off of like your vision of like this north side, um, a good chunk of like the first wave. Uh, I want to say close to about half. Okay. Of the first wave. So I, I instruct the the uh, the giants um, with their ranged weapons, whatever they happen to be. Yeah. Um, and uh, I tell them to fire on uh, whatever I can see that is the most concentrated area. Okay. Yeah, and just- uh, as that happens, I, I get on the boulder tooth, you know, watching everything happening. And I, I just say like, see? Right there. Half of them, r- roughly, haven't even made it to us. They roll a two. Uh, so they go and like take their arrows and they launch them off. But uh, most of the arrows, are, like the, uh, right before they even get to the skeletons are like starting to singe up a little bit and you can see like they hit them, but like their arrows aren't magical like a are. So they kind of just like hit some of them and just like dink off. They do do a little bit of damage. They do do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they kill six of them and you Not see, you, you can hear the, the like seer walk up behind you. <laughs> Should I try? Yes, show me what you got. And he spits into his hand, rubs them together a little bit. And he puts his hand, fingers out as you just see lightning arc out from his fingers. I know I got to roll for this. I see cast lightning bolt. Or sorry, is it lightning bolt? What's the, the line one? I always forget the name. Lightning bolt's chain the lightning. line. The, chain is the one that bounces around. That's what it that was. Yeah, chain lightning. Yeah, lightning chain. Well, lightning bolt he, or lightning chain? It's a chain. He's trying to arc it out amongst them. Fuck. Um, the thing that you used to melt them all in that one episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we go just civilian dust now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, didn't roll that great. It's twenty three. 
right? 33. Oh, 23. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. So as you see this lightning just arc out from his fingers, each piece of the lightning hitting another creature and rocketing off from that one, as you just see 20 cre- 23 creatures just turn to ash. As he like looks over, he's like, pretty cool, right? That is. And he puts his wet finger in your ear. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, thank God I'm immune to disease. <laughs> did he give you like a little shock though when he did it? Yeah, a little zip. There's a little zip There's on just there. A little like yeah, he just, just a little his feet zing. on carpet, so it's got like one, a one, of, one, of my, one of my one of my fillings went off. Yeah. Like, ah, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, those fantasy fillings, man. Um, okay. I mean, if it was made out of gold, that probably well, actually yes, it would. Gold uh, conducts electricity. So yeah. the. Rest of these skeletals are going to hit your guys's barricade. Uh, as you, as they do, you see the uh, pyrotex, the like, not like heavily armored guys, but like the just kind of dumb looking. It almost looks like they're just wearing like foam armor. Uh, they start to advance. Are we fighting cosplayers? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> larpers, uh, uh, larpers, <laughs> yeah. larpers from the local lightning lark. Lightning ball, lightning ball, lightning ball. <laughs> yeah, that's Ow, all the hey, seer really did. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's just stop throwing foam balls at me. Um, yeah, so they start to advance behind. Uh, I am gonna need initiative rolls because we're gonna pretend like we're actually doing real D and D combat. No, I know. Pretend. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Twelve for Katan. Okay. Eight, 18 plus 5, 23 for Awen. Uh, 12 for Leaf. 18 for Borel. Okay, so uh, we are going to start it up back up with Awen. Um, you see these skeletons start to reach this, uh, all the barricades as they just like crushing them. Some of them, you know, like the, the floating heads are, they just kind of float over the barrier. It kind of didn't really do much for those ones. Uh, some of the skeletons are kind of having hard times. The, or, the, I almost said orcs. The giants are smashing their weapons down on top of these skeletals, but then you also see this next wave, which is almost double the amount of the skeletals starting to advance. They're going a little bit slower, um, a little bit more of like a brisk jog than like a full-on sprint. And then those are the pyrotechs, yeah? Yeah, those okay. are the pyrotechs. Um. I'm not going to worry about them till they get to the to the gates, okay. and because I could see who did what for that first volley. I'm going to see that um, uh, the side that Borel is on, um, the west side, yeah, uh, probably did the least amount since Borel kind of got rocked a little bit, and and they can't do as much over there. So I'm going to turn my aim to that side okay. and take a few more shots over there just to get the. Um, it's tough for me to aim. It's like specific things in that sort of like a jumbled mess so i'm yeah. just going to be firing at, at the the just mass the, of yeah. people that are there yeah i get where you're coming yeah. from uh a 17 plus 12 for 29 for That'll the first one and a crit one no that yeah, won't do it that won't do it but i got the one <laughs> twang yeah, you, um, you broke your non-existent string ha i damn. got you five plus six is 11 for the for the for the hit. hit okay yep um, all right, so you pop off your shot as you, your your second shot, as you, sh- you're just like, at this point, you're just kind of like making a target, shooting an arrow, and then not even seeing if you hit it or not, just immediately going off to the next one. So you're just, you're just firing arrows. Your last like few shots, just kind of, you can, you you feel like it was bad. Like you're, you're kind of rushing a little yeah. bit too much. And like, cause you're like firing off and you're like looking to the north and looking to the uh, east as you're firing. Uh, but you do get 11 of them. Uh, it looks like that side is kind of evened out as far as like the amount of uh, creatures there. Oral, you just see some arrows go flying over your head as the skeletals reach your barricade in front of you. Uh, how, uh, approximately how many can I see? Uh you can see probably about like 20 or 30, but it's it's kind of like a uh, swarm. So like the ones you can see are right in front of you, but you can tell, like you can see like little kind of flames dancing behind the other ones. You can see like the floating heads still like- Well, they're skeletons. You can see through the rib cages and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can kind of make, make out how many- Well, some of them are like I mean, technically fire. you should be dealing half damage. <laughs> Shh, quiet. <laughs> Well, he has magic arrows. I do. Huh. He has magic oh, yeah, they did force damage. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are there archers around me? Yeah, there there's okay. archers at each barricade. Just not, yeah, but they're not very good. So watch yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that part of my action? Can I tell them to fire? Like, yeah. was it? You can use you. you that's a free thing. I would allow that. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I'm gonna cast. Oh no! I'm gonna say, you know, screw out archers at the ready, and then at the same time, I'm gonna cast animate objects. I'm gonna snap my fingers. And I'm gonna take. 10 arrows from random archers sort of behind me. They're going to, they're going to go straight up and then point like snap <laughs> at the gate. Yes. I love and it. then, and then I'm going to say, you know, you know, fire or something. Yeah. I'm going to say fire. And then I, I'm going to, as the action for animate objects, I'm going to have them attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the damage is for that. So, so you do whatever. Well, I do have to roll an attack. Okay. Just roll one attack yeah. for all of I don't want to, I don't really want to do 10 fucking. Uh, 16. That, yeah, that definitely hits some skeleton boys. Um, so it's 1d4 plus four per. Okay. Then do you, you can roll once and just add it up multiple times or you can roll individually. I don't, it's up to you. Roll five and double it. That's pretty, that way you don't have to do like. So you're like Yondu from yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. <laughs> the arrows just like yeah. flying oh, you around. Should, you should have whistled. You should have whistled. Uh, yeah, you got to do a yeah. whistle. But Disney minus two does, so probably don't actually. <laughs> Can we edit that out? Yeah. yeah Yondu is spelled Y-X-0-0-3. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Middle of the road. Um. So they all, okay, so it's, they, all the arrows uh, do six damage. Yeah, so these arrows, you just see like, like Aowen was kind of saying, or Matt was saying, I'm kind of getting even deeper into my lore than anyone else now. Uh, it's it's kind of like Yondu is like these arrows are just whipping around, going through skeletons. Mm-hmm. One will like go through two, whip back up, and then come back down on top of one as you just clear your side. Nice. Um, and then then you can see those pyrotechnicians that you fought way back when, back in Arc Two. <laughs> Good old Johnny boy. Um, uh, advancing towards you towards the gate towards you yeah uh, you can see like a quick uh, give me actually give me a uh, perception check uh, that is a 11 total 11 total uh, rough count 50 plus on 50 your plus. side okay yeah. all right so after my my arrows are done I'm gonna have them move okay well actually I, they already moved so never mind um, yeah, they're just kind of stationary then. All right. Um, it's the baddies' turn. The pyro technicians are going to kind of start taking up their uh, pace. Pace. Yeah, pace. Um, and you see the pyro technicians starting to run faster, picking up their pace. As some of them, you see just kind of, uh, I think more of A1 would kind of see this just because of how hectic everything is, and maybe Boral. Uh, you see them just like disappear for a second. Just like drop. And then you realize that they're dropping into your guys' holes that you're making out there. Um, so I'm going to roll for how many people got uh, caught up by those and just uh, all together. Because you guys literally made a, it's almost like a semi moat around the entire mm-hmm. place. Oh wow, nice. Damn, you guys are getting, I'm rolling against myself way too good. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's 15. So I'm going to say about 15% of the entirety of the uh, pyrotechnicians are just fall into these pits. And like Grator said, uh, like two episodes ago, they put spikes in those pits and then and did like the whole poopy thing. So they ain't getting out. <laughs> the, <laughs> the fact oh, that you have that's to right. Yes, poop. they, 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 oh, they, uh, they filled them with uh, <laughs> excrement. <laughs> yes. Excrement. Yep. Thank you. Poopy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> poopy. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not, a cold. Not, not poopy. Yeah, poop pee. Poop pee. Poop, poop, poop and pee. pee. Poop pee. Poop pee. It's pooped pee. Not to be mistaken. That's a cultural yeah, thing yeah. with the giants. Or is it pee poop? Pee yeah. poop. Pee poop. Yeah, they, don't, they never say, I'm going poop, I'm going pee. They say, I'm going poopy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a giant anatomy thing. It all comes out of the same hole. <laughs> Ew. That can't be right. That it's out of their, it's out of their uh, pointer finger. So sorry, guys. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. so it was out of my ear. It's in my mouth. On my face. <laughs> well, that's canon now. No, no, it's not. No, that was, that was, that was a, they that. have nor they have normal uh, reproductive and uh, and uh, waste uh, organs. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> the pyrotechnicians, uh, about fifteen percent drop down. Um, the others 
kind of see this like first wave of them just like disappear and they like look down and then you know a few of them hop over you can see one like yell back and you can see like them bringing ladders and stuff out um they're obviously have had they've sieged before and I'm going to have the skeletons make a roll for the barricades that they are at. Okay, so uh, 20. All right. Oh, um, man. So this is what I'm going to do. So 27 damage. So these skeletons come flying over some of the heads and stuff like that come flying over and start attacking the um, giants and the party members that are there. Um, can I get a dexterity saving throw from you to uh, from Catan and Leaf? Me? Yeah, they are at your they are at your door. Mm. Uh, but don't worry, your spike growth as long as you don't get knocked out of concentration right here. Yeah, um, is will be up for those pyrotechnicians as well. I got an 18. 18? Cool. Mm-hmm. That that does it. So you take half damage. Um, you're gonna have to roll a this. I don't I don't think we've ever done this, guys. Make a concentration check. Mm. Uh oh, how do I do that? So essentially roll roll your roll, roll d20. Roll d20. So you get. 15. 15. Okay, yeah, you pass. You, essentially you have to do a wisdom check higher than uh what was it? You're casting uh, 10 or half the damage. Yeah, you half take. Damage. Yeah, it's, it's a uh, and you did half so constitution. Got, yeah. So you get half damage, so that was twenty. Oh wait, how much damage did she do? Oh, but it's half of that. Yeah, it's so ha- she's she'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fine. what is what do I take? Uh, Katana, what'd you get? Did you roll nine? No, I think it was. <laughs> fuck, I, I shouldn't have clumped them all together. I believe it was twenty. It was twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. I'm okay. pretty sure it was twenty-seven. Yeah, it was twenty-seven, uh, which means she 13. needs to pass a thirteen. She did. So she, she did. So I did, but I still have to did. take the thirteen damage. You still right? have to take the thirteen okay. damage. Got it. And uh, Ben, you Done. take the twenty-seven. Because they crit, so Ouch. Yeah, fine. Um, <laughs> so mad about it. So these skeletons just storm your uh, barricade. Just uh, some of them, like the skeletons, just throwing themselves and like igniting some of the wood to weaken it, and the other ones just like plowing through. And uh, Katan, you see some of the giants that are with you, just like skeletons, just like stab their hands through their stomach and just like ignite their body and then with that though the ex- like the skeleton explodes but like the shrapnel from its body goes and flies into like a few other giants mm. uh, you had about like 20 right now you got about like maybe 13 okay uh, it's hard to kind of tell with the the battle uh, you get hit pretty hard you can see the seer already kind of like starting to hobble back towards the middle he's like See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Coward. Uh, s- seeing the seer fall back and having lost that many people and, and how hard they hit that first barrier. Um, I, I shout, uh, you know, retreat. First wave retreat. And I fall back to the barrier behind. Okay. Um, you have a leaf. Mm-hmm. You are like kind of dodging, bobbing and weaving, mm-hmm. running underneath legs, casting some spells at these skeletals. Uh, as you see, uh, Kratos just with his big axe, or sorry, his big uh, mace, just clobbering swaths of skeletons. As you can see, they just, it's almost like they're never ending. It, yeah. You just can't keep up with it. And Kratos just picks you up by your back, throws you on his shoulder, and Perfect. just starts walking uh, not, well, m- more of like jogging back uh, to yeah. and the I'll next And I'll just yell, fall back, fall back. I was, I was going to jump on him anyway. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he cool. wasn't going to take me up. <laughs> I was totally going to try to do a jump on him. Um, take me away. Then we go to um, Leaf, it's still your turn. Mm-hmm. Um, you look back as you see that massive monster sh- shake its big arms put its hands up as you just see this massive oh god damn it I did it again now I notice it now I notice it <laughs> <That's right>. you <laughs> haven't see, noticed it yet as, it again, you the, as you see this ginormous ball of fire twisting and forming above its head and you just hear this guttural scream come out of it almost to the point where your ears start to bleed a little bit as it chucks it towards you run 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 run
they all put their hands up as you see these pillars of fire shoot off into the sky. Those were the, those were the traps that we were all disarming? Um, or that's from their hands? You don't know? Well, I was, try, I was trying to get an idea of what he was doing. Well, let me... F- <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's that's massive. this, right? <laughs> it's massive. That's okay. Go ahead. We'll cut that. I'll cut all that. Yeah. Um, 